everyone, welcome to Doing Dental School. If you're new here, my name is Kajal. I am a second year dental student at Marquette University School of Dentistry here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And my whole channel is kind of just about helping pre-dental students and kind of sharing my life as a dental student. So if you want to stick around, make sure to subscribe down below and also give this video a thumbs up. So today I wanted to kind of just sit down and film a pretty quick video, hopefully, about AP classes and how that can kind of impact your dental school experience. I know personally for me, I knew I I wanted to be a dentist when I was 16 so I was a junior in high school and I knew that those classes somewhat impact my dental school experience but I didn't really know how and so I wanted to touch specifically on AP classes now I know there are a lot of other types of college courses that you can take. You can take, you know, actual college courses in high school. You can take the IB program classes. I'm not really familiar with any of that personally. I personally just took AP, so it's really all I can speak on, but I'm sure there are other resources out there that I'll try to find and link down below. But specifically for AP classes, I always wondered, you know, is it worth me taking AP Bio and AP Chem, AP Physics, you know, all of those hard AP courses, especially those science courses, is it worth me spending all of that time and energy and money to take that exam as well? Is it really worth it in high school? And will it actually help me in dental school and kind of just help me achieve that bigger goal? So that's what I kind of wanted to just sit down and talk about today. So cutting right to the chase, the main thing you probably should know is that dental schools do not accept AP credit for prerequisite courses. So what do I mean by prerequisite courses? Those are all courses that you must take in order to get into dental school. So these usually include biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, um, usually English, and then sometimes they can include biochemistry or anatomy and physiology, psychology. It kind of just depends school to school. So each of those prerequisite courses must be taken at the college level in order to apply to dental school. So essentially what this means is say if you take AP chemistry in high school and you take that exam and you get a four on the AP exam, even though your college might accept that four as college credit, you need to take chemistry again at the college level in order for dental schools to recognize that course and also in order to kind of evaluate you equally. That's kind of the whole point of this is that they have you take those prerequisite courses because they know the caliber of those courses at every single school is usually around the same and so that's how they kind of can evaluate different students and kind of figure out whether you should be accepted to a certain dental school or not. So on the flip side, you might also be wondering, all right, what about all of those courses, those AP courses that aren't prerequisite? So let's say, you know, AP micro or macro or AP gov, things like that. Those courses can definitely be used for dental school. So whether you actually choose to retake them in college is kind of up to you because that kind of just depends on your major. So say if you are an econ major, maybe your school might require you to retake micro or macro but for dental school you can definitely keep that AP credit on your transcript and I have a few videos specifically my um, idea access tour kind of goes through how you put in AP scores on your dental school application so definitely check out that video if you kind of want more information on how to put AP credit on your dental school application but specifically for just any of those other courses that aren't prerequisite courses you definitely can use that AP credit towards it's your dental school application. So your final question honestly just might be, all right, so I have to retake AP Chem, but is it worth me taking that class? And honestly, in my personal opinion, I think it's still worth taking those courses. Because here's the thing, as you're taking that AP course in high school, that puts you ahead of some of your other classmates in college. And so you kind of know what you're going into and you kind of know the material getting into your college chemistry course. And so that means that you hopefully will get a better grade. That'll kind of help you with your dental school application, kind of boost your science GPA. So there's a lot of benefits of taking that AP course. If your school kind of allows it, maybe I'd recommend taking that AP course of one of those prerequisite courses, but maybe you don't take the AP exam. I know personally at my high school, you can take as many AP classes as you want, and then you personally just pay for which exams you want to take. So personally, when I took AP chemistry in high school, I took the course and I got, you know, all of the information from the course, but I didn't actually take the AP exam because I knew that I 
was gonna have to take that course again in college. So I got all of the material, but that kind of helped me in college because I kind of knew the material, which kind of helped me and put me a little bit ahead of some of my other classmates who maybe weren't as familiar with the material. Of course, there is the flip side of all of this is, you know, if you know you have to take a prerequisite course again in college, maybe you don't wanna take it in high school and you kind of just wanna focus on something else, that's definitely an acceptable option as well. But I kind of would encourage you guys to take as many AP courses as you can possibly handle personally and kind of just take what you can get from them so that hopefully that can benefit you in the future. I know this was a really quick video, but hopefully this kind of answered some of your questions. These were a lot of the questions that I personally had when I was in high school. So hopefully this helped you a little bit. And if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for any other pre-dental related and also dental school related content. It's a fun time around here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.